we're asked to use a unit fraction with either conversion to convert the units round to the hundredths place value. And we will show both setups. For the first example, we're asked to convert 25 meters to feet. We first write 25 meters as a fraction with a denominator of one. So we have 25 meters over one, and we'll show two setups using both conversions. And now I multiply by a unit fraction that will convert meters to feet. The important thing to recognize here is that when multiplying, we want the units of meters to simplify out. And since we have meters in the numerator here in the unit fraction, meters must be in the denominator, which means we will have feet in the numerator. And now if we use the first conversion, where we have one foot is approximately 0 0.305 meters, the unit fraction would be one foot over 0 0.305 meters. If we use a second conversion of one meter is approximately 3.281 feet, the unit fraction would be 3.281 feet over one meter. Notice in both cases, we have meters divided by meters, and therefore the units of meters simplify out, leaving us with the units of feet. So for this first product, notice how when we multiply, we still have a quotient. We have 25 divided by 0 0.305 feet. And in the second product, because the denominator is one, we just have 25 times 3.281 feet. So if we were doing this by hand, it'd be much easier to use a unit fraction where the denominator is one, because then we could just multiply rather than divide. But it is important to recognize because these are approximate conversions, these will not give us the exact same result, but the homework system will accept both. So let's go ahead and determine the quotient and the product. So for the quotient, we have 25 divided by 0 0.305. And again, we're told to round to the hundredths place value because we have a seven in the thousandths place value round up. We have approximately 81.97 feet. And then for the product, which is 82.025, running to the hundredths, we round up because of the five. This is approximately 82.03. And of course, the units are feet. So notice how these values are not exactly the same, but both would be acceptable. And again, if we were doing this by hand, this would be the easier method because we have a denominator of one and the result is just a product rather than a quotient. So I'm gonna go ahead and use 82.03 feet. And now let's convert 12.5 feet to meters. We begin by writing 12.5 feet as a fraction with the denominator of one. And again, we'll show both setups. Now we multiply by a unit fraction. But here, because we are converting feet to meters, we want the units of feet to simplify out. And because right now we have feet in the numerator, in the unit fraction, feet must be in the denominator. So we have feet in the denominator and meters in the numerator. Now using the first conversion to form the unit fraction, since one foot is approximately 0 0.305 meters, one unit fraction could be 0 0.305 meters over one foot. Using the second conversion of one meter is approximately 3.281 feet. We can form a unit fraction of one meter over 3.281 feet. And again, in both cases, notice how we have feet divided by feet, and therefore the units of feet simplify out. And now we multiply, and in both cases, the units are now meters. So here we have 12.5 times 0 0.305 meters. Notice how the denominator is one. And then for the second example, when we multiply, we have 12.5 divided by 3.281. And of course the units are meters. And now let's compare the product and the quotient. So for the product we have 12.5 times 0 0.305. Running to the hundredths place value, 
we have approximately 3.81. Because of the 2, we round down. And now let's determine the quotient. We have 12.5 divided by 3.281. Notice there's a 9 in the thousandths place value, and therefore we round up. The value is approximately 3.81. Notice how in this case, the value is rounded to the same value. So 12.5 feet is approximately 3.81 meters. I hope you found this helpful.